Right, so I've got the slide winder set up. I've got the, uh, the military whip on the top. You can't see it, obviously, but hopefully you can see the radio. And I've got it in FM mode, 21300. And I'm hoping you can see the signal meter and the SWR set on SWR. I'll read it out so you can see anyway. So 10 watts FM, so I've got a carrier so I can see the SWR without talking. Um, so I've got it tuned. I've got the, I've got the, the ring which is on the end of the wire, which slides up and down on the slide winder. I've got it set at the right position for uh, 15 meters, 21 megs. Now, if I wanted to go to uh, 17 meters, you know, I've marked on there a little line. So uh, I've got it, I now got it on 17 meters and um, actually on 21, I'll just show you the SWR was uh, one to one, very, well, very low. Let's have a look. That's one dot. That's one dot on my 7100, and it is in FM mode. So if I wanted to take it to 17 meters, I've got it on 17 meters FM. I'm going to move the slide, the coil down, roughly to where I've made a mark. And uh, this is just a rough first guess. I'm going to key up. And I've got one dot. So I've got it down. I've got it down to one dot. You know, I've marked it at the right place. And I'm in, I'm roughly in the middle of the band for voice. So I haven't got an analyzer with me. I've just got a radio with the aerial. Done all my setting up before. And because I've got it set up in the same way, got the coax going the same way, into the, trapped in the door. I've got the coax tight, pulled fairly tight to the radio, which is uh, in a straight direction. You know, it's not all at coils and coils of it in the car, which will give different performance. It's exactly the same as when I took my, uh, when I set it up with the analyzer. So let's try and get, complete the set of uh, bands, go to 20 meters, put it on, in an analyzer you just need to set it up precisely you know I set them all up in the middle of the voice portion let's try seven megs see if I can go through all the bands so I've got it on seven megs and um, I'm just gonna wait for this car to go by so we're on seven megs now let's put it on FM and it is set in the middle of the voice portion, you know, 7150. And uh, I've got another mark here for 7 megs. So I've got it set up there. I mean, it could, I think it's 7 megs, you know, I haven't, I've only done it, I've only done this once, set it up, not used it since. So, uh, run FM. Yep, and that's one dot, that's one dot, look, if I clear up, that's one dot on the SWR. Now, if I was to move this, you know, you might think it's one dot everywhere, but if I was to move this down a bit, let's move it down a bit, only a couple of turns, if I move it down a bit, Okay, you'll see the SWRs sky high. It's right across. So I just wanted to demonstrate how easy it is to tune without an analyzer. You know. And uh, I was just sharing my way of doing it with the markings. That's a combine harvester going past. That's the combine harvester that was in the field. Pretty cool. So uh, anyway, now I'm going to try and get some contacts. But I just wanted to show the tuning method. It was a bit complicated to uh, set up. So I put the radio on the top of the car and um, done it in one continuous shoot.
So I've got it set up in FM mode again. It's only on 10, uh, 12% on the power. And I tune them up in the middle of the voice portion. But I just want to show you. So I've tuned it up here and I've got it very, very well tuned. But I just want to show you. If I took it up to 7.2 to the top of the band, just got to grab the microphone. You will see when I key up, the SWR is good. Two dots. And if I remember, I'm on 7.2. If I take it down to 7, the start of the uh, 40 meter band, and I key up. It's all, look how wide the bandwidth is, look. It's also good. So it's a very wide banded antenna and you don't need to keep moving the coil. Now, if it does that on 40 meters and it's that wide, just imagine how wide it will be on 20 meters or 17 or 10, it gets wider. The higher up you go, you get a bit more efficiency a bit it's wider and wider still so that is a very good um, selling point of the slide winder zero uniform kilo hotel okay got it my friend two echo zero uniform kilo hotel chris this is kilo papa four papa uniform alpha i got you five five fifty five beautiful puerto rico my friend Yes, very good into Puerto Rico. Um, I'm 70 miles north of London. And I'm just parked up um, in my car, parked up mobile. Back to you. Yes, sir, you're making a fine trip, my friend. You're 5556, five, five, something, and uh, 57. Uh, but the band is up and down, but you're sounding really good, little Puerto Rico. It's, yeah, I was trying to copy you later because I uh, found that I don't have a rotor on my direction antenna, so I have to go up on my roof and move it. So when I went to the roof, the antenna was looking to the other south. <laughs> so I had to move uh, more to the north side. Okay, well, on this occasion, it was worth your while because... Um... This was a good contact. Thank you for going to the trouble. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, my friend. I already, I already got you in the log, my friend. Take care, Chris. It's uh, always a pleasure talking to you. Take care. Thank you, my friend. Okay, 7-3. Cheers. Okay, so that was a magnificent contact into Puerto Rico. And I'm a bit annoyed. I hadn't, I hadn't, I wasn't expecting to get that far. I was just, you know, floating around and I quickly tuned it up. Let's just, uh... that's on FM. So it was tuned, it was tuned okay. Because while I was speaking, I was noticing the SWR. Anyway, very pleased with that. Puerto Rico, um, this is the same, you know, this, I've just finished doing the, uh, the slide winder videos, you know, in different clips about the bands. You know, I'm in the same location. That's what I wanted to show that um, it's a bit later on in the day. We've got a nice uh, orange sky now. But I'm in exactly the same place. And I've got my aerial set up in the, in the same way. And I just got to Puerto Rico. How cool is that? 73 uh, 2E0UKH.